All right, two million Patek, whatever that is. Oh, it's a watch. If you want to tell time like the wealthy, you can drop 20,000 or even 50,000 on a Cartier or Omega. But for super rich watch aficionados, cue the private Kyle. jet. The yeah, I already watched the Telecon video. In Geneva, Switzerland. <sighs> it's home to the most expensive wristwatches on the planet. And the king of luxury watchmakers, Patek Philippe. For the first time ever, Patek is allowing an inside look at their top secret watchmaking lab. Wow. This is beyond rare access. We're entering the brain room of Patek. It holds industry secrets and watches worth millions. You know it's serious when even Patek's president puts on booties and a lab coat to get inside. Thanks for the five gift subs, Gilded Eagle. I appreciate it, man. Who has been never seen before on TV. Thierry Stern they must be really hurting for business. An operating room. That's because the work here is like surgery. It's so precise, they have air filters to prevent even a single speck of dust from getting inside a watch. And watchmakers in this room can spend years... How dumb. One Exit tier one flip-flop. But we're here to see Patek's masterpiece being built. Price tag, $2.6 million. Whoa. It took 100,000 hours to develop. What? 1,300 parts. Each of the tiny pieces are handmade. You're telling me it took them 4,166 days to make that watch. They would be dead. Whoever was working on this watch would have died, their son would have died, and it would now be their grandson finishing this fucking work. There's no way anyone spent 4,000 days on this. How much is- how many years is that? 11 years. No one's spending 11 fucking years making a watch. Nobody. No chance. Combined man hours. No, no company is investing 11 years into a single watch. 0% chance. No fucking way. So you're telling me 11 years, they invested 11 years of man hours into a watch worth 2.6 million. That doesn't cover at all that cost. ...and measured in micrometers. Assembling them isn't a job. It's a science that required six new... It was patents. developed, not made in 11 years. Complications, it's the uh, most complicated wristwatch Patek has ever built. They don't even call it a watch. This is a wrist format timekeeping instrument. Its best feature is a face that flips. And super rich watch collectors know this sound the signature Patek chimes. As we call it now, Grandmaster Chime. But even if you can blow $2.6 million on a watch, that doesn't mean you can own it. You actually have to apply for it and prove <laughs> that you're a sophisticated collector. Rich people are fucking crazy. Oh my fucking God. That's nuts, man. Holy shit. Patek makes Rolex look like Casio watches. It takes months to years to build them, and the most expensive ones sold for $30 million. How fucking stupid. Thanks to Resub Greyborn. One day, I really would like to start a company that specializes in exploiting the wealthy. So all of those shitty apartments that look like absolute trash, it's just sterile walls and the art is stupid where it's like a metal beam for a hundred grand. I really think it has to be super easy. So you just come up with some pretentious name and then you just make cheap products and sell it to rich people for a ton of money. I think that's an easy market all day. So for watches, I would probably just grab watches off Alibaba and put them under my brand. And I guarantee rich people would spend 10x on that shit. Just because I said it was actually worth something. Yeah, you need a reputation, obviously. Which is what I'd try and build. And how do you get a reputation? Lying. Pretty much exactly what Damien Hurst did.
Thanks to Resub Orange Fish. Hey Oni. No, no disrupt tonight. <laughs>